this is a really quick overview on how to add posts to your WordPress blog. So let's look at the arched word blog. If we click through to blog, the way to log in is to click on the login in the meta. A blog is essentially a, a sequence of posts that have pages that correspond specifically to that post. It's great for search engines, which is why it's heavily utilized. So if we log in, we're not concerned with most of the the navigation stuff down here. The thing we're interested in is posts. So if you click through to posts, you see you've got a list of posts that are currently on the site in order. A blog is designed to be ordered by date, so it's this order is largely unchangeable. So if we add a new post, we can set the post title and we can set the post description. If we save this as a draft, you'll see that it won't appear on the main blog. But then if we publish it, you'll see if we refresh the blog page, we can see this new post and we can click through to it and get it as a separate page. The next thing you probably want to gonna want to do is make sure that your post is categorized. So we can either add it to existing categories, or let's say you wanted to add a new subsection to doorknobs, let's say gold doorknobs, and you pick a parent. And this allows you to, to add it to those subcategories. So if we update, you'll see if we refresh the blog, you've got these additional categories now added and you can click through to them and see the posts that are within those categories. Archives by default uh, posts are also allocated by date so you go through and click through and see what posts have been created and when. It's likely you're going to want to add images to your blog so to do that you click on this nice little add an image box and you select a file so we're going to select this the O image now the important thing here is that you set an alternate text this is what people who are using uh, software for the heart of for the heart of uh, site so it's important to pick something here that relates to the image and relates to the page so I would want to put in web development Birmingham for example something along these lines so it relates to the image and it relates to the page because these are keywords that can be picked up by Google the next thing is there's a link URL now this is what hap this is what it happens when you uh, you click on the image now at the moment it takes you through to a larger version of that image now I prefer to get rid of the link completely or link through to a page that relates to the image so let's say we wanted when the user clicks through to the image they want to go through to door latches door locks and latches all you do is you copy this up here and you paste it in here you can then pick how you want the image to be aligned so let's say we want it to be centered and you can pick the size we're going to keep it medium you can then insert it into the post and it's ready to go so then if we update the post you can see if we then revisit the blog we've got this new post in here and that's the essential foundation of adding blog entries the only other thing really is is making you can uh, you can format text by clicking on these other icons so you can make it bold you can put it in a bulleted list you can add more items if you come down here you can see that each revision that we've made to the document so if you saved a change that you then wanted to undo you could you could go back and, and view a previous version and revert it. The only other thing to consider is when you've got blog posts, you'll notice that when you click through to the post, you've got a comments form. So as we are logged in, we can post a comment, and it will automatically show on the page. If people aren't logged in and they try to post a comment, you'll see that the comments will appear here before they're viewed. So we can see in the hello world topic here 
even though there's only the one WordPress uh, comment in here, you can see there are there are more that relate to Hello World. These are spam at the moment, but let's approve one of them. Let's say we wanted to approve this to display on the page. All you click is approve like that, and then if you refresh the page, you can see that this has now appeared. But largely, all of these things we want to, you know, they're, they're all spam. So realistically, we, we're going to want to get rid of them all. Um, so yep, yeah, spam, 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 and then you can just go to bulk actions, mark as spam. You can delete them, but it's it's good practice to mark them as spam because it it looks at this number and makes sure they don't repeat spam your website. And then we'll ap apply. So there we go, seven comments marked as spam. Oh, this one's spam as well. If you just want to do the one post, you can just go in and go spam. You can also edit comments should you want to. And and that at the foundation is it. Just make sure that when you're posting your blog entries, you're making them relevant, you're making them things that either people will want to read or that they target some some search engine search terms. Because this can really be positive in generating traffic to your website.